Okay, this video is going to show you how on a Chromebook uh, you could have your students record their voices. Now this is primarily just to record the voice in any sort of audio editing. So if you want your kids to record their poetry, uh, create podcasts to record, or any sort of auditory project, this is the way to do it. Um, so all I need to do is probably, you probably want to have the students use like some sort of microphone that like headset, but if you do not, your Chromebook does have its own built-in microphone. At this point, what you do is you uh, want the students to go to their launcher, and Twisted Wave is the app that we're going to use. Uh, it's showing up here because I have used this recently, but it, if I do not see here, I can either go to All Apps or I could search for the keyword Twisted. Okay, so Twisted Wave really is a website. It's not like an app. Some apps go are the app themselves, but most of them just redirect to a website. So it is this website right here. Um, okay, so here uh, we go to a Twisted Wave website. Um, you do not need to create an account. You do not need to sign in. You could create an auditory file from here. And to do that, there is a new document button. When I click on that new document button, it's going to open up a separate window. And once it decides to load, it's going to look like an audio editor. And what's nice about this is once I press record, I can be recording my voice. I can record a podcast. I can record any sort of thing that you want to record for your classroom. And there's a bunch of different things that you could do with here. You could add loops. You could add effects. Have fun with that. So at this point, all the students need to do is press record. And uh, at this point, it should be recording my voice. I see the wavelengths happening here. It's going to show me how loud I am, so that's kind of nice. You could even have this open just to show your class how loud it gets in the classroom. But overall, it's a great pro tool to use to record any sort of sound file, podcast, whatever you want to do. And it's a good tool to show students uh, how our, how like audio is recorded, how it displays. This is the data it displays. It shows wavelengths. Okay, anyway, so when I'm finished, I press stop. Great. I can rewind it, I can hit play, I can listen to it. Once I have completed this and it's the way I like, I want to download it. I'm on a Chromebook, right? So here all I need to do is go to File, Download. At this point, MP3 audio is fine. All this is fine. Untitled is not, so let's give it a name. So let's call it Test for right now. Now I'm going to press Download. Okay, at this point, I'm on a Chromebook. It's going to go. It's going to tell me how I want to save this to. Uh, by default, generally, it will go to this section called Downloads. I advise you not to save it to Downloads because when you do that, it's going to save the file to the computer itself and not to the student's Google Drive. So what you want them to do is click on My Drive, and they could save it into a folder or just their My Drive is fine. So now I'm just going to hit Save and the file is now there. At this point, the student could turn it in through Google Classroom, and I can make a separate video on how to do that. 